started off, right? I started off a little different this this one. Cool. What's going on, everybody? This is Physical Friday, and I have Clay the Carpenter Guida. He is a UFC veteran, man. Fought more than 50 times. 50 times. I lost track a long time ago. Unbelievable. Beat Nate Diaz. Beat, that was an easy one. Beat BJ Penn. Okay, it was that, easy to that, beat. That was a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> Some amazing wins. Uh, but what, what you're known for is, uh, well, you're known for a lot of things. What I know you for is your unbelievably, your cardio is through the roof. So I, what we do on Physical Friday, we talk about things that help us to be better at what it is that we do. And most of the people listening are fishermen hunters. They want to get in better shape so that they can be better dads. They can be better fishermen. They can be more active, more uh, alert on the water. And a lot of times that comes down to strength, cardio, and you travel a bunch. So do a lot of people here. So I wanted to ask you, like, if you had kind of a favorite routine with minimal equipment that you do on the road. Absolutely. Um, guys, yeah, he makes a good point. Because our time is limited, we're always traveling, whether it be driving, whether it be in airports, which I can't stand. Um, no, no matter where it's at, at a hotel, you know, we're limited on equipment. We're limited on, on time. Um, not everybody wants to run like I love to run. I just ran, I think, almost, uh, almost, eight, seven, mi- eight. Oh, yeah, almost eight miles round trip. I didn't realize that was what I was getting myself into. But down here in the Keys, it went by like that because the water was so blue. I got to see tarpon. I got to see people catching fish off the bridge. But that's not how every uh, setting is going to be when you're traveling. Um, so uh, Captain Tom asked me to kind of give you guys a little uh, little insight and some some pretty simple workouts that I do when I'm traveling. Not everyone has a kettlebell, um, and you guys don't need a big one either. Um, obviously, some of them are made out of uh, iron or steel. You don't want to be really be probably carrying that thing around the airports or in your in your um, your suitcase. You could check them, but they do have the um, the little the little um, weighted ones that are have sand in them. Otherwise, if you guys are just at one of the uh, the workout uh, facilities in a small little Hampton Inn or Hampton yeah. Garden or whatever, any hotel usually has um, either a 10 to 20 pound dumbbell or a lot of them offer um, kettlebells now. So that's what kind of, you know, what I started with, you know, running, everyone's like, why do you do, you know, how's your cardio so good? I said, I'm like, well, I run and I do kettlebells all the time. They're very simple. Um, you guys can watch my YouTube kettlebell, uh, kettlebell swings. Literally you start in between like you're going to hike a football. Then you just, you keep it upright like this and you just, you kind of, um, squeeze your hips at the top and your stomach comes out a little bit. You tighten your, your, uh, your gut, tighten your stomach. And one of my first kettlebell coaches back home, he goes, Guido, we call them free abs. And I didn't know what he meant. Every time you do a kettlebell swing, it's like doing a crunch. It's like doing a sit up. So you tighten up your abs and your core. And you're literally, I know I used to take pictures at the beginning of my training camps. I would have my little beer belly. And then a few weeks in of doing kettlebells, I, my six pack or whatever, you know, my abs would be back. So every time you do a swing or a snatch, you get free abs. Um, so yeah, it's hard for me to explain those physically right now, but basically it's like uh, hiking in football and you're, you're stopping at the top um, for swings. Um, a kettlebell snatch, you're bringing it from between your legs over your head and you're keeping your hand, your, uh, your hand is straight up like this. So you can do just, you know, three sets of 10, three sets of 12 like that. Um, and then just, uh, good old fit from there. I kind of do little circuits right there. Cause your, your space is limited as, as well as your time. So right there, I'll, um, sometimes I'll just start doing mountain climbers. You guys know what those are. You're like in all fours and you're, you're running in place after that. Um, I'll do crunches. Um, sometimes I'll take one of those medicine balls. I'll sit on my butt and I'll keep my feet off the ground and I'll do, mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't even know what, Russian twist. Russian twist. There you yep. go. Um, Let's see, just a lot of body weight stuff. If there's a pull-up bar, there's nothing better than pull-ups, push-ups, crunches. So I call. So how would you put all these together into some sort of a little routine that you would do? Depending on how much time you guys got. Um, so they got I, 20 I, minutes. You guys can do all those. I would try to knock out as many. Give your, give yourself a, we call them just circa workouts. I call them, call them caveman workouts. Literally like each station shouldn't take you longer than 30 seconds to a minute. Then you take a, br- a little breather and then a 30 second or minute rest. Try to do those as many reps, um, as many sets as you can in that in that 20 minutes. And um, I tell you what, it, it's refreshing. It's easy on the body, and but you're going to see quick results, and it's going to make you feel like you accomplished something. Right on. There you go. That's how to do it when you're on the road. We've talked about hotel workouts a bunch, and um, you know anything you can do with a kettlebell, you can do with a dumbbell. That's what that's what you know. A lot of people kettlebells have gotten really really popular. 
But the fact is, is that they invented a kettlebell in Russia because they didn't have dumbbells. They took some sort of kettle and they welded a, a, a thing onto the top of it. And that's what it's for. It's like a homemade thing. So a kettlebell is not necessarily better than a dumbbell. It's just a little different. You can do anything you can do with a kettlebell. You can do with a dumbbell. Anything you can do with a dumbbell, you can do with a kettlebell. And uh, that's how you do it on the road. Yep. And it obviously works. So far, so good. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, and the cool thing is just kind of get creative. It's amazing what you can find, these, these workouts on the internet. Guys, literally a lot of times I'll just Google, our, I'll YouTube circuit workouts, and a lot of times they're taking stuff that I've already done, and they're maybe just tweaking or putting a little bit of twist on it, and um, they're fun too. So Yeah, I think that's a big thing is, is keeping it fun, keeping it a little bit different every time. Absolutely. All right, that's it. Physical Friday this week. We'll see you next week. Check it out, guys.